Hey friends, so right now I'm working on the conning tower for the submarine and this is it right here. So as you can see I've got this face machined. Now that that's machined, I can cut holes in the conning tower to install the window frames. I have to weld it to a steel plate so that it doesn't distort, but uh, that's just standard practice. So this, this right here is one of the window frames that'll go in. I have three, so I have to make some more. And I took this out of an old conning tower and I remachined it just to clean it all up. So the rules are, this is an eight inch diameter window with a six inch viewing area. So 25% of the diameter of the window has to be supported. So you got one inch all the way around, which means there's two inches of support, which gives you 25% of the diameter. That's the rule. So this window that goes in here, hold on, is this guy right here. It's 1.5 inches thick. It doesn't need to be nearly that thick. Like that's just really overkill. But this is a non-annealed window and that's why I went oversized. This is just a straight window from Reynolds Polymer Cast Acrylic. And because I didn't do an annealing cycle on it, I just oversized it so that should be just fine I've actually tested these already to I think 400 feet and they were perfectly fine so this window here is another one similar to this it's an inch and a quarter thick and it's actually out of an old submarine I had a Necton submarine and these are not allowed anymore because they're bolted right through the acrylic that's no longer acceptable to the uh, regulatory people. I'm not sure why. I've never heard of a failure. Um, 15,000 dives collectively with the Necton submarines and not a window failure from, you know, cracking or anything like that. So anyways, I would use it. I would have no problem using it. The only problem is I want to have consistency. So I have to make, I would have to abandon these window frames to use these windows, but because I have three of these, I'm just going to be consistent and go this route. Plus I have enough of these windows as well. Otherwise I would like to use this because making the frames is super easy, but this using these frames saves me a bunch of money. This steel is crazy expensive now. So this window here, this is a frame for the front window and it is a conical seat. So the flat seats, are terrific because they're easy to make, they're quick to make, but they um, they have depth limitations. You can't go as deep. I think a thousand feet is probably where you want to stop with flat seat windows. And then you have to move into a conical seat like this. So this fits this, but it has to fit within a certain specification. You are allowed a misalignment in the machining fit but there's a catch. The outside edge must make contact. So the misalignment can only be in one direction. So this outside edge has to make contact with the seat and then the inner edge can have a small gap and it's a percentage of the size. So in my case, I'm allowed a seven thousandths of an inch misalignment. Last time I machined it, it was a four thou misalignment. It's a bit tricky to get it bang on. Maybe it's my machining skills, I don't know. So the way this seals is these windows have a cork gasket, which is contact cemented to the seat, but not cemented to the window. This just has a vacuum grease or silicone grease on the face and then an O-ring seal right here, which goes in this upper corner. And then when the when the metal ring compresses this down to hold it in place, it squeezes that O-ring up against this shoulder. Um, so the, the grease is actually the high pressure seal and the O-ring is only for at the surface and low pressure. Once you start to dive, this fits so tight, there's no need for any additional sealing. Um, you can, it's another thing that's people don't realize with this with this here let me just take this out with this window 
People are tempted to put an O-ring on the face of the seat. You're not allowed to do that. The O-ring can be in the side and quite often they'll put it down in the corner. So what they'll do is they take the window and they machine this edge off just like this conical seat window and then the O-ring is squeezed into that. The reason you cannot put the O-ring in the face is it interrupts the load path. So this has to have full contact all the way across. So no O-rings in the seat. That's a big no-no. It's tempting because it's ideal in theory, but you can't do it. So that's the uh, status on the windows. Ciao.